I'm in here with my dog Mingus. He's sitting right over there. Got me a new doggy. He's about six months old. He might pop up every now and then. <laughs> nice having a companion. Got me a little Aussie doodle that turned out not to be so little. <laughs> it's okay. We don't judge. We just love. Alright, so. I'm throwing cylinders. Um, getting all set up. I got the camera at an angle because I want you to be able to see what my hands are doing. Took my nail polish off. Because <laughs> it does not look good with cl white clay in your nail. Get that out of your mouth. <laughs> out. Thank you. It's a very obedient dog. Turn the wheel up really high when I'm ready to center. And wet it a little bit. I keep my sponge with some moisture on it so I'm not having to dip so much. But this is where you use muscle right here. Get that guy centered. And it first goes all over the place, but it's okay. Nothing we can't fix. <laughs> now, I have musicians in the house, so you may hear. Zach Groove's plan or Saxologic, if that's the case, then we'll just put it on time lapse so the noise doesn't distract you. House full of artists, very lovely. All right, so I take this guy up and down a couple of times. I did not put on the apron, I forgot. Still a little wobble, so I'm gonna take it up and down. Place feeling a little hard. This is um, little loafers. The bug on my shoulder. A little tiny beetle. All right. Summertime bugs. I heard the air bubble pop. This is another reason why I take it up and down a couple of times. Sometimes a little more because I want me to make sure all the air bubbles are out. So I'm going to take this guy down and prep for opening. Wet my sponge there. Now I position my hands like this to keep my pinky from going in there. And there is me. Just get back, boy. Get your nose out of my clay. No, no. <laughs> no, sir. Okay, so I'm going to take it. Mingus. Move back, sweetie. Don't leave. <laughs> Okay, oh, I see a little wobble, so let me straighten that out. He's got to get used to this. I'll be patient with him. <laughs> I have no choice but to be patient with this dog because he's so stinking cute. I'm going to hold here, let this play center some. Alright, it doesn't feel good. I may have a wobbly bat on my hand. down around the edges take it down a little more around the edges take it down a little more and I'll moisten it around the edges again some people go straight down I just like my edges not to be so big <clears throat> if that's the word I'm going for all right so I got a nice flat. This clay is very slippy, meaning it makes a lot of slip. I'll just tighten this up here. I still feel a wobble. I don't know where it's coming from. I'll see when I open it if it's worth messing with. I heard the air bubble. What you doing, Ming Ming? Mm hmm. And I'm going to use one finger, my index finger, to open and my hand to support. We're just going to go down at a slant and then straighten as we go, holding. 
don't budge. Don't want to go down too far either. What are you doing, son? My dog is into stuff. Okay, I feel a wobble, so let's see if I can stabilize it here by holding. I don't think I'll be able to. Let's see. Okay, that guy is wobbly. Let's see if it'll straighten itself out. If not, I'll sometimes just start over. Because that's a wobble I don't feel comfortable with. I'll go ahead and compress the bottom. Sometimes the wobble will straighten out there. And sometimes when you pull, it will straighten out. No, sir! Thank you. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good doggy. He likes to go in my... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't do pottery, honey. Get your... <laughs> Scoop. You're such a cutie. Don't lick the clay. You just had dinner. So, I know you're not hungry. You've got plenty of water up there. you just being silly. <sighs> no, sir. Don't do that. Give me that. Thank you. That's a no no. All right. He's just getting into everything. <laughs> He's like, Mama's room is a playroom. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull. I still see a tiny bit of a wobble. It may straighten itself up. I'll compress this edge here. This is looking like it might be a small bowl. I may make a hug a mug. The mugs that have the little kind of oval shape to them. Compress that bottom a little bit. I'm gonna slow the wheel down so I can pull. You don't want the wheel going too fast because the centrifugal force can cause it some problems. Now right now I'm doing a sponge pull because it pulls up quite a bit of clay at once. It's a little dry here. You have to be careful with a sponge pull because you end up pulling up too much clay. This guy has a wobble, so a little bit of clay will come up as it tries to center itself. There we go. Compress the lip. I'll clean the bottom. It seems redundant, but it's important to clean the bottom and add a little more water. I'm going to go here and pull this clay up. have a band there you can try to compress that band back in there but most of the time it'll lift this is a wobbly piece I don't know how I feel about that so now I'm gonna do a finger pull there's two fingers here the wheel is a little faster than it needs to be got a nice center of rotation but we got a wobble and the more I pull the more I can figure out where it is Sometimes I can pull the wobble all the way up to the top and cut it. But the piece feels nice and stable. When I pull, I like to go slow, especially when I'm altering the shape from a cylinder to whatever shape I'm going for. But right now I'm just trying to build a cylinder. I'm using a sponge because it can help me to get rid of these bands that want to sloth off here. There's one. And those bands will happen if this guy's a little wobbly. And as you can see, the wobble is getting a lot better because I pulled it up. So I like to try to get all of this clay. And sometimes it can be hard. And sometimes you pull off some excess. And I like to take that off because I don't like trimming a whole lot. Okay, got a little water in there that we don't need. So I'm going to take this. I feel where the wobble is here. Let's see if I can pull that up. Today was a good day. I went downtown. And festivities have begun for the 4th of July. It's cool. There was a symphony playing and 
not really my kind of music, but it was peaceful, so the people were in a good mood. The band actually sounded pretty good. The symphony, actually, I don't know if you call it a band. I have professional musicians in the house, so they'll probably roast me on that one. Like always. Yeah, this guy is off-centered. It may end up being a test piece, but it's okay. So, I want a nice even cylinder, so I'll choke it a little bit so it's even. Ooh, that baby is wobbly. I don't like that. I'll just turn this into a little utensil holder or a tool holder, something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to pull some more of this up. Nice steady hand, straight line, straight up. Even if the wobble's going on, you just keep pulling straight up. Don't stay in one spot too long or it'll rip on you. Be consistent from the top to the bottom so your um, top doesn't widen so much. Just cleaning it out, compressing the lip. Mingus! No, sir! No, you don't do that. Don't eat my paintbrushes. Don't eat my pottery tools. Thank you. Good boy. Sit down. And you have gotten into some pink paint. Hmm. I'm going to get you, boy. <laughs> okay. I may have to put him in his crate while I throw, because he's getting restless, and it's, it's his bedtime. All right, so I'm gonna pull up here, and I'm gonna round this guy so you guys can see it really good. My little wobbly piece here. What have you gotten into in there, huh? Silly man. Okay, I'm gonna now um, round this guy out some. So I'm gonna go in here and push out to this finger. And you see it's rounding out some. My little wobbly piece. I'll play with this one some. Sometimes these little wobbly pieces turn out to be the best little pieces. I don't know. We got a little more round at the top and less round at the bottom. Since it's wobbly and it may, we may lose it. Let's just play with it. I'm gonna push way out here at the bottom. My little wobble wobble, wobble wobble shake. Okay. Yeah, that's a wobbly piece, but it's okay. We're going to nourish it and take care of it and make it something. Be a great seedling pot. This dog is cracking me up. I'm going to get this metal rib tool. Get some of these lines out of here and smooth the shape out some. Now, if you just hold the rib tool on the pot, it'll take the shape that you fold the rib tool. And just hold and it'll take that shape. But if you put your finger inside of there, it'll take another shape. It just depends on what you're going for. So I can straighten this tool right here and it'll make it somewhat straight right here. That feels really nice. Okay. Let's round it a little right there. I'm so excited about the 4th of July. Okay, that's cute. Now, just to show you this technique, I'm going to
wear this out just a tad. Give it that cauldron, give it that uh, cauldron shape. I like that shape. And I'm going to compress. The lip feels really nice. I'll compress it <laughs> one more time. The doll cracks me up, I swear. Because the wobble is really telling on me right about here. I kind of like that sharp edge that's happening right there. Okay, that's a cute little piece. So let me get my shimmy. I'll compress. I'll clean it off some. Compress this lip. A little wobble, baby. Mm, don't know how I feel about this, y'all. It's okay. It's a circus piece. I'm really wanting to practice some art on the pottery. Now let me cut some of this off the bottom here. Looks like a snake. This just keeps me from doing too much trimming. Just a tag right there. It's nice and white down on the inside. I'll clean this bat off. And then we'll cut it. It's awfully thin at the base, um, but I think it's okay. Sometimes the first piece of the night can be a little, uh. Oh, that was good. There, you couldn't see where I cut it when I was cutting it. It ovaled out a little bit. You see that? Okay. One down for the night. Woohoo!